Safe Food, Fair Food project is uh, part of ELRI's project. We have uh, conducted survey on situation analysis in food value chain, means including meat, milk, uh, and dairy products and other dairy products. So we want to identify so the risks at different stages, which will lead to just I mean illnesses in humans as a result of consumption of uh, livestock products. So we have already ex we had already experience in the milk value chain. We have studied you know the risks along uh, the val dairy value chain, and mostly we have found that you know some stages they are risky and others are so lower. Yeah, we have S, uh, what we uh, we call uh, FF1, means Fair Food, Fair Food Project 1. We have finalized it, and we have reported on that one. And, uh, and now we have started with Safe Food, Fair Project Phase 2. The conclusion of the first phase was that, you know, that's, uh, we focused only on dairy, on dairy, mal uh, dairy value chain. And we found that, you know, certain bacteria, especially Staphylococcus aureus, which causes mastitis in cows, could also infect humans. So mostly, those people who consume raw milk are prone, are, are at risk of just acquiring infections, tacocolous infections. But we have studied, uh, we have compiled the data, but that is, you know, conceptual studies, what we have done is on the determining, so the risk of acquiring Staphylococcus infections. And the second phase, we will be involved in the sheep meat, sheep meat value chain, and we want to know, you know, at which uh, stage of production or in the value chain, so uh, where risks are, are likely to occur. So it may be just, you know, at the producer level, or it may be at uh, restaurant level, or at a household slaughtering stage, or in export avatars. So we need to test along this value chain and come up with a reason. The role of the university is just, I mean, is to coordinate. So the IRRI project, Safe Food Fair Food project, that is as done previously in Safe Food Fair Project uh, Phase One. So we'll coordinate, and the students will be involved in research, and also we will train enumerators, I mean, to gather data uh, with uh, other uh, partners in breeding and uh, in nutrition, mm -hmm. and also in health aspects. So. We will train enumerators and also uh, train also the consumers and how they can prevent themselves from acquiring infection. Uh, one thing what we can do depending on the result, uh, we can disseminate the information. We can disseminate the information and particularly uh, at the end of uh, the project, so those people who are involved in the uh, rapid risk assessment, especially the producers and the uh, and slaughterhouse, uh, the butcher owner, uh, the avatar owners, not avatar owners, but uh, the, the consumers from restaurants so will be identified, and we will just uh, organize a workshop and just inform them, you know, where the high risks is yeah. just yeah. likely to occur as a court. Mm -hmm.